Hello, in this video I'm gonna fix this old optical mouse. Many of you may say you're crazy, new mouse cost about 5 bucks, but I owned this mouse for about 15 years and I really got used to it. Anyway, why both new stuff while old can be repaired? This mouse got all the buttons I need and work well. Ok, not so well, that's why I'm gonna fix them. There's two problems, one of them is that wheel don't work like it must and second, bottom of the wheel also don't work properly. When I push the wheelie button, it's like I push 2-3 times, so I gonna change the encoder and one of the buttons. Ok, first of all I lose the only screw and carefully open the mouse, so I don't broke some housing pins which hold the mouse together. And there I can clearly see the first problem, dirt, dirt and dirt. Ok, there's even not so many dirt for a 15 years daily use. So there's the encoder I will replace and the real button which don't work properly. But first, I remove the circuit out of housing and disassemble it as much as I can. When the housing is disassembled I start cleaning piece by piece. First I clean them with a the toothbrush and compress there, then continue with the proxim and brush into them. When the pieces are half cleaned I continue cleaning them with alcohol. Parts of housing is clean now and look much better, so I can assemble the housing together. The housing is now finished so I can start replacing the button. Firstly unsolder the old button from the circuit. Here I got new button I bought on eBay for a few cents. I can save this original Omron for that price. But it's the same like the old one and that's matter. Now I unsolder the wheel encoder from circuit board and compare them with new one I also bought on eBay for small money. Look like the encoder is totally the same and fits perfect into circuit. You must be careful there while ordering because there are many different size versions. Now I solder new switch back to its place, but first I install the washer from an old switch to get proper height of button. This line on circuit shows us where the switch button should be. If there is a washer don't forget on it. Then just install switch in its place, push it with fingers and solder at least one of the leg, so switch hold on its place. Now you can let the circuit on the table and solder other two legs, switch will hold the position without holding it. After quick test I see that everything is on its place, so I can solder the new encoder back on. After soldering is done, check if there is some shortcut and we are ready to assemble into clean housing. Install circuit into housing and carefully manage the cables, then just clip on the cover and screw them together, that's it. Mouse works just like new one, no more frustration for non-working buttons. But I'm a guy who don't throw stuff away before disassembling. If there's a way, I try to fix it, or in other case I see how it's made and I still can throw away anytime. So let's check if there's some way to fix that micro switch. You can see their switch got three legs, one of them is C, there comes input, another two normal close and normal open terminal. That means normal close is close in normal situation. When we push the button connection go from C to normal open, so check the resistance. I connect ohm meter to C and normal open terminal. And there can clearly see the problem. When I push the button there is bad contact and it's like I push on button many times. Then I try other side, so I measure on C and normal close terminal. Well, that side worked clearly. So let's open the switch to see where the problem is. Oh 
Also inside of the micro switch is some dirt, but this is not the main problem. Switch work well, when I push into contact nicely switch from normal close to normal open. So I'll take out the switch in contact and check the contact point. And here's the problem, the parts become black due to wear of contact. That's pretty normal for the electrical contract through many years of use. So here on contact points is electrical conductive dust, and this dust is prevent clearly connection. All I must do is clear the dust away. Just a bit of touching with electric brush and the contact is shining like new. Don't forget to clean another side too. Much better. Now just assemble the switch back together and make a test if it's switching good. That works, so I can put cover back on. Now I connect the ohm meter to normal open contact and make a test. Great, I got clearly contact on normal open, what about on normal close? Also good, switch work like new and it's ready for next few years of use. That's it for today, thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.